Hi, I'm Robert Hoffman. I'm the head of our Zeitwerk department and I started at Lange & Söhne in 2001. So I did my apprenticeship in 2001 for three years at R. Lange & Söhne and then I worked my way up into our Zeitwerk department where I now lead a group of 18 watchmakers. My purpose is the exceptional masterpieces. And we have a fantastic event here where we can see something very, very special. We have the full Handwerkskunst collection, we have the full Honeygold collection and all the Lumen models in one room. So that's our purpose today here, to show this beauty to our fans and clients. I mean, obviously it's the Zeitwerk. So the Zeitwerk is kind of my most favorite watch within our collections. I mean, it, it's such a unique watch to build. It's such a, it's such a special watch to work on. It's a very complex piece, which has a unique time indication. So the inspiration for the Zeitwerk, of course, comes from the famous Semper opera. So there, Ferdinand Adolf-Lange, the founder of our brand, together with Goodcase, with Mr. Goodcase, they implemented and designed the five-minute clock for the opera in our hometown Dresden. So the Zeitwerk is indicating the time with three very large discs. So you read the time from left to right. On the left side, you have the hour indication. We indicate the time with one big hour ring. On the right side, you have two single discs, one for the minute indication and one for the decimal indication. And now we have the best moment when it comes to reading the time on the Zeitwerk. We have to jump from 11.59 to 12 o'clock. Three, two, one. Done. And now we had this massive energy release into the movement and now we switch all three discs in one go. So here we have our second generation Zeitwerk. So this is the all new Zeitwerk. We launched in two different case materials in platinum and in rose gold with this beautiful black dial. So what are the biggest changes of this watch? We have at the front of the watch, we only did some subtle changes. So we increased the size of the second display. And when you look at the powers of indication, you have now a little red zone, which will indicate you the last 12 hours of power reserve. When you look at the side of the watch, there we have the first of the biggest changes. We have a pusher now to adjust the hour indication. So it's an inverse pusher. When I push it in, nothing is happening. When I release it, we can instantly change the hour indication. It's easy to set the time or to travel time zones. Now, the, sec the second biggest change happens when we look at the back of the watch. Here, we see our brand new caliber 43.6. So this one, basically the old caliber was the 43.1, but this one is now superseding the old caliber 43.1. What have we changed? We have now a double barrel within the movement and this double barrel will increase the power reserve from 36 to 72 hours. We made the balance wheel a little bit lighter. The Ramon Trois spring, which is sitting within the constant force escapement, got a little bit thinner. And due to those measurements, due to those changes, the whole movement is much more energy efficient and we have more energy available to power the watch now for 72 hours. So when we launched this watch in 2009, we didn't know how our clients, our fans will react to this watch because it's something completely new in terms of time indication. We indicate the time of discs as a digital time indication, but done the mechanical way. So now we have the year 2022 and it's a very successful part of our Lange family. And this watch opened the doors to younger collectors because it's so different. It's very fresh, very cool from the front. When you turn it around, you have all the Lange DNA points. The gold jetons, the blue screws, the hand engraved balance bridge, the German silver, the three quarter plate. So, you know, I think this watch is, yes, for our younger generation from at the very beginning, 2009, it opened the doors to the younger generation. But these days, you know, everyone is kind of in love with our Zeitwerk model because it's so special, it's so innovative and it's all about precision, power and it's beautiful. <laughs>